Hi, welcome to Yoga in YouTube channel. This content is in yoga for neck and shoulders. It's going to be slow flow, long hold postures. So I recommend you to use your 70 or 80% of capacity instead of pushing yourself onto the maximum. The most important thing, listen to your body and do what feels right for you. Prepare one block if you have one. It will be useful for supporting some postures. Let's start from child pose. Open your knees hip distance or wide as the mat. Just fold forward. Lower your upper body all the way down. Relax your ankles, knees, and hips. And at the same time, your back and shoulders. Breathe deeply, in and out through the nose. You can close your eyes. Observe and feel how is your body today. And then lift the upper body slightly, reach your arms to the right, place your left hand on top of your right hand. Stretch your spine and your left side. Focus on your breath and your sensation. One more breath. And walk your hands all the way to the left. Place your right hand on top of the left. Stretch your right side body. Create a long line from your right hand all the way down to your right hip. Create space on your right ribcage and breathe through that area. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale.
Come back to center. Lift your chest. Bend both knees and roll to the left side. Place your left palm on the floor. Right hand next to the chest. There are three options. Level one, stay here. Feel the sensation on your left shoulder. Level two, take your right foot over the left so that your right kneecap can face towards the sky. Level three, raise your right arm towards the sky or all the way back as much as you can. This is intense shoulder stretch. So don't forget, do what feels right for you. One more inhale, exhale, place your right hand down. Come back to center. Halfway lift the chest and bring the left arm under the right. Place your left top of the hand on the floor. Reach your right arm over the head and bring it all the way towards the narrow part of the mat. Place it on the floor. So this time, we are folding the left shoulder inward. Relax your forehead on the mat. Bring the right hand back to the mat, lift the chest halfway and this time cross both arms like an alphabet X. If that's too intense for you, bring the block and place it under your forehead. That will help to reduce the pressure on your shoulders. If you don't need it, just place your forehead on the mat. So your tops of the hands are touched on the floor. Your both shoulders are folded inward. You are breathing deeply. Feel the shoulders.
Good. Lift the chest slightly and rotate your body to the other side. Reach your right arm back. Place your right palm on the floor. Keep bending the knees. Stabilize your body first. This is level one. So you can stay in this position and feel the stretch on your right shoulder. Level two. Bring the left foot over the right so that your left kneecap can face towards the sky. Level 3. Raise your left arm towards the sky or bring it all the way back as much as you can. Feel this nice space on the right shoulder. You may close your eyes. Keep breathing. One more breath. Good. Place your left hand back. Come back to center. Now, cross the arms. Bring the right arm under the left. Fold your right shoulder inward. Reach your left arm over the head towards the narrow part of the mat. Place the left palm on the floor. Relax your forehead on the mat. Feel your right shoulder. And breathe. Slowly lift the chest. Now cross both arms like a shape of alphabet X. You're welcome to use block under your forehead to reduce pressure on the shoulders. If that's in your practice, you can just place your forehead on the mat. Feel your shoulder area, your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. 
release the pose, press yourself up to tabletop position. Puppy pose. Your hips can come over the knees. Extend your arms forward. Place your forehead on the mat. Melt your heart towards the ground. Just relax your arms, your shoulders, and upper back. Come back up, tabletop position. Thread the needle. Reach your left arm up towards the sky and bring the left arm under the right hand. Score your hips. Reach your right arm up towards the sky and bring it over the head. Place your right palm on the floor. So you are twisting your spine, deep and comfortable breath. You're welcome to stay in this position or bring your right top of the hand on your lower back. Open your right shoulder a little bit more. Whatever you choose, that's totally fine because this is your own practice. Good. Place your right hand on the mat. Lift the chest. Switch sides. Reach your right arm towards the sky and bring your right hand under the left. Left arm over the head. Place your left palm on the mat. Score your hips. Stretch your right shoulder, your left arm, and especially your upper back. And if you want to stretch a little bit more to the left shoulder, bring the left top of the hand on your lower back. And open the left shoulder a little bit more. Take few deep breaths here. Good. Come back to center table pose. 
and we are going to meet a seated position just cross your legs in a natural way place your palms on your knees let's do some neck stretch just bring your right ear towards the right shoulder stretch your left side of the neck no pushing, no forcing. And switch sides. Bring your left ear towards the left shoulder. Stretch your right side of the neck. We are creating long line from the right ear all the way down to your right shoulder. Just one more deep breath. Come back to center. Extend your spine nice and long. Bring your chin towards the collarbones. Stretch your back of the neck. And last one, stretch your front of the neck. If you have sensitive neck or any neck issue, interlace your fingers behind your head and try to support with your hands. Good. Release. Place your hands on your knees and just close your eyes for a moment. Notice your neck. Notice your shoulders. Notice your body. Feel this relaxation. Bring your hands in front of your heart center. Thank you guys so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. I hope you could feel good on your neck and shoulders. If you liked, please give me thumbs up, share this video who needs this yoga practice, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.